Let me go to the busy phones at 888-775-3773. Let me go to Della out of Virginia. Hey, Della, welcome to the show. Hi, Jesse. How are you? All is well. Happy White History Month. Oh, you aren't kidding. Happy White History Month. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I need to make a decision, but I'm a little bit nervous about making it. I know it's the right thing to do, but I'm having a hard time. If you know it's the right thing to do, why are you having a hard time? Why not just do it? Well, I'm relatively comfortable in the situation, but I, I'm i not happy. I, I know it's not right, but it's financially comfortable. Morally, it's not comfortable, so... Um, short of explaining it all, I just, I'm just a little bit scared, I guess, because I'm going to have to be, you've been talking a lot about it lately, too, about being alone. Yes. Which is kind of, kind of scary, but not really, I guess. Are you afraid to be alone? Um, probably. And why? I don't know. I guess activity keeps you busy. People around you, you don't have to think about what you shouldn't or what you have to, I guess. It's distracting. And so why are you afraid to be alone? Uh, I guess then I would have to, you know, uh, think about stuff that I don't want to think about. <laughs> and, wh- <laughs> <laughs> and why don't you want to think about the things that you don't want to think about? Well, it's going to be a little bit harder. How do you survive. know? Not, I don't know. So why are you assuming that? Why are you saying that and you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring? Listen, I've been fighting uh, the last maybe month to call you. Like, call Jesse. Don't call Jesse. Call Jesse. <laughs> don't call Jesse. <laughs> it's been that kind of battle. And why know? are you listening to the devil? Anyone? <laughs> I know. I and, and even I know that. That's what's so bothersome. It's like, why are you listening? And, and why anyway, are you? Anyway, I'm calling you now. Because I don't want to do it, but then I, if I don't do it, I'm going to be so mad all the time at everybody. Yeah. Not for anything they've done, but for stuff I've done. Yeah. Let me ask, Della, how will you ever know God if you're afraid and unwilling to stand alone? I won't. And so do you want to know God? Yes. Well, you got to be willing to stand alone. Oh. Where have I heard that before, Jesse Peterson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, you're right. Are you doing the silent prayer? Every morning, every night. So then you got to stop listening to those thoughts. You've heard me say that all thoughts are all Many lies times. all the time, and yet you believe them. I do. I do. And then, on the other, and then in the other breath, I don't. Like, I see it, and I... And I even address it and say, well, that's not me. Why are you thinking that? That's not you. That's not true. Jesse says that's a lie. But it's fleeting, but it's still there. Do you obey your husband? I know you got married. Do you obey your husband? Uh, No. No. You don't obey your husband? Well, Jesse, I didn't want to go into all that. See, that's how I got myself in this predicament. I shouldn't have done that in the first place. Done what? Gotten remarried. Oh, Oh, you should not have remarried. Now you have an issue with that? Yeah. Oh, I got you now. Yeah, so that's that's part of it. I'm not sending a good message to my children and grandchildren, which is really bothering me. So and, I got to I got to make this decision, which I've, you know, got to do it. I got to do it. And wh- what do you mean you're not sending a good message to your children and grandchildren? Well, uh, morally, I'm not sending them a good message, so. Oh, I see. So I don't want to. I don't want to go into it. Right. Okay. I probably should have called. I probably should have called you, like for counseling, but. Okay. I just had an urge to call you, so I can call you. It sounds like you're not working. You have not been working on. You used to work on yourself. It sounds like you're not. You have not been working on yourself. Why? Why have you stopped doing that? Uh, things have gotten kind of easy, so. I'm not. In my life, it's easier. Financially, it's easier. 
And so that made you stop working on you? Pretty much. I guess I can do what I want, and maybe what I want is not the right thing to do. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. You're absolutely right. So, yeah. uh, you know, question for me is what then? Uh, you got to push me over the edge. <laughs> 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 I just need you to kind of tell me what you're telling me, which is you're not doing the right thing. I guess I have to do it. Tell you, I guess people, I, I guess I've created this image of myself in my life that I like because it's, you know, I, I don't want to say this. It sounds so vain, but I'm kind of popular and, you know, people like being around me, which I like having people around me, but. But it's not a good. I think my ego is probably a little too big now. Well, you should be counting your blessing if you have built this world around you. If people think certain things about you, good or bad, or they think good of you, you want to be pop. All that is evil, and all of it is ego. And you should be glad that that's falling apart. And now it, you're right. You should, you should be glad that that is falling apart and that should uh, cause you to 100% focus on overcoming your hell, overcoming all the illusion about yourself and about others and about this popular life or non-popular life. It's time to really focus on you now to overcome those illusions. Yeah. Okay. You got to be willing. You got to make up your mind, Della. You want the kingdom of heaven or you love the hell of false illusions because it's just false. People, people what the, the way they act around you is not really what they think about you and, and what they say when you're not around. I know. Now that I know. <laughs> so you should be happy that all that it's falling apart, and it, it should wake you up, and you should just go back to the silent prayer, watch those thoughts, all thoughts are all lies all the time, and just let them pass. And this time, just stay focused on working on you, and nothing can go wrong once you work on you. Okay. You're right. I'll do it. You don't sound happy about it, though. I, I'm not. <laughs> it's going to hurt. <laughs> so what? It's going to hurt. Hurt what? Hurt me. It's going to hurt. And who is you? Who is the person that being hurt? The emotions. The emotions. Are you your emotions? Right now, I am. And how are you your emotions? Because it's regret. Are you your regrets? No. Are you your emotions? No. So how will you be hurt then? I don't know. It's just an excuse, I guess. I'm sorry? I, it's just an excuse. What is an excuse? I'm trying to get out of it. You're trying to get out of... Yeah, I'm trying to get out of feeling the pain. But you, you can't get out of it. If you get out of it, I promise you this without a doubt. If you get out of the pain, all you're going to do is create more pain. But you're if you right. go to the pain and live with the pain and just watch it, you will never create any more pain. It'll be done. Okay. You got to live with the pain. You got to accept it. You got to live in it. You got to live with it and watch it. And the father would say, because it's all demons, it's all hell, it's all illusion, it's, and it will be taken away from you, Della, and you will never have to go through this again. Okay. All right, Jesse. I'll okay. keep you posted. And so what did I just say? You have to do the difficult stuff. Like what? Like, get out of what situation you're in that's causing you pain. And don't worry about how it makes you feel or look or you think. Yeah. And, and then you got to live with the pain of being alone. 
Don't try to take away the pain. Don't try to escape it. You live in it, you watch it, and you live with it. And that's what God will save you from. He will save you from the hell. Okay. And no, right, even Jesse. if you have to cry and kick and scream, <laughs> I want you to watch yourself crying, kicking and screaming, but don't give up. Stay present. Stay with it. Okay. Even if, Thanks, Jesse. All right. The one thing I do want to tell you, Della, is what you're feeling right now, that's making you cry right now. Uh, it, it, it <laughs> just, I want you to know it's just thoughts and emotions. It's not real at all. I promise you that. It's just illusions. It's just it's just thrills. It, it, it feel <laughs> it feel good to cry about having to leave someone or someone leaving you, or it feel good to be mad at someone that you say you love or say love you. It's just all thrills. It feel good. To, to yeah. feel like, oh, these people are going to have a bad image of me. I have put out this image, and now they're going to see me, the real me, or see me differently. Uh -huh. It's all thrill. You, I, want, I want to encourage you, you got to die from all that, and then you shall live. Okay. It's all ego. Okay. Okay, let, you're let, right. Let me know how it goes, all right? I will, Jesse. It's good to hear from you, Della. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. All right, bye. Bye. 888 Five three, seven seven three. It's just thrills, folks. It's not in the kingdom of heaven. No more tears. In the kingdom of heaven, no more worries. No more losing anything or anyone. No more nothing. You're just free. But you got to enter in, and then you got to go through the hell. You got to go through the hell to get to heaven.